In this tutorial, we are going to install the SatCN plugin within our Nexus JS project. So I have already initialized our Next JS project, as you can see. Now we are going to use the SatCN CLI command to initialize our projects with SatCN components. So by default, we will use the style to default. We'll set the color to slate. As you can see, it has created some of the files for the SatCN to work properly. So it has added some animation CSS for the SatCN components. It has also updated the color, different color background, foreground color, and the text color for the global CSS file. It has also created a util files that we can use for the Tailwind Mars to merge our CSS class name for the Tailwind. Now, as part of configuration for the SatCN library, we need to configure font size, we need to configure the font family to be used globally by all our components. So we we'll define our variable for the font as you can see there's a slight mistake with the font name the variable name now I'm using the tailwind mars utils that created by the satcn init command so we'll pass it. We'll add some basic styling with the minimum height of the viewport to set to the screen. Background color to BC background. And we also use the font sense, the variable that we, we defined earlier. Now we can run the project using npm run tape. Project installed. Yeah, the background now applied, so all the style are looking fine. tailwind config file so inside the extent we need to supply the font family the variable that we defined earlier so we use the size within the font family we pass the variable that we defined in our layout also we need to pass the existing font family style for the same the font from the Tailwind CSS theme using the Tailwind CSS slash theme using the default theme font family is passed Now we can add another component from the SatCN library. So we'll add a button. Now we can see inside the component, the button component file is added. It's using the Redx UI. Now let's see all the component for the button type so 
we'll import the button from the cell, the component that we created. We'll write a simple text for the button and we can supply the variant. So there are deep predefined variant type. So we can use that. We'll copy the multiple and pass the variant. Post default destructive link outline and secondary. So without styling anything using the tail wing, we can see the default style of sets and button component. So on hover we can write the okay. on hover we can change the background color then the text white That's it. so we define we, we use the existing style of set cn button component but on top of that using the tailwind css we'll apply the styling as So we'll wrap within the div command to make it single line button. So we'll do some define as a flex. Format the code. Now we can see different button. Let's add a gap between the item. So there is a 16 pixel gap between each of the button component. Now let's add another component from Sensian library. So we'll add a, a dialog component, dollar dialog. Let's add the component now the dialog, dollar table dialog component is created. The wrapper component inside of it, we need to define the trigger that triggers the, the dialog. So we'll add a text open alert in the button. So then we need to define the alert dialog content all the content of the dialog will be inside of this one so all our dialog header so the header text will be inside of the all our dialog header component and there is the next all our dialog description So we add the description to the dialog. Let's look the component. Now let's add button inside of the dialog. So we need all our dialog is the button inside of the alert component, but we need to wrap this within the, uh, the there is a two component for alert dialog action. We need to wrap it around the alert dialog footer. So alert dialog component will hold all the button of the dialog. So for the cancel, we'll use the alert dialog cancel and 
for the action we will use the other dialog action component now you can see we have the delete and cancel button inside of all the component now we can, add, we can pass as child the boolean true to the all or dialog trigger so we can pass any button component inside of it so if you don't provide a child to the trigger component so whatever we provide inside of it will be wrapped with the button component that uh, that will be created by the trigger component itself so we add some color in the button So the delete button with the red color. 